can start whenever you're ready. Okay. All right, just so we have the name correct, just say your first and your last name and spell it out for me. Jaquel Phillips, J-A-Q-U-A-I-L-P-H-I-L-I-P-S. Okay, and your relationship to the kids? The father. Okay. Um, first, I just want to say from everyone at Channel 11, we have our deepest condolences to your family. Um, I know this is hard to put into words, but just what are you feeling right now? Man. This loss broke down. Just, just miss my boys. Mm -hmm. Tell me, tell me about yesterday, how the day um, started, and how you found out about the news, what was going through your mind. I was at my grandma's house because she just passed from COVID on July, no July, June, uh, yeah, January 15th. And uh, my girlfriend called me and told me that my son had been shot to get to his mom's house. So when I got out there, uh, officers told me that um, all three of my boys were shot and told me they were all at the hospital. And that's pretty much all they told me there. I went to the hospital and they had police, like four or five police officers surrounded me. and. They like really didn't tell me anything for 45 minutes to an hour. And then finally the detective came out and said, I can go back. So he took me to a, a room and talked to me. And then he told me that the Gabriel and um, Amir didn't make it and that Ashton is being worked on. Mm -hmm. so, Take your time. <laughs> he, asked, he said that I could go back there and see him. Okay. So I went back there and I kissed their hands and I kissed their foreheads. And then they escorted me out the building and told me to go home. And a uh, detective gave me his number and told me that if I need anything or if I needed anybody to talk to, to call him. Okay. But only the uh, only officers that really was any of the help was the detectives. They were like the only people that are actually talking to me and giving me an uh, answer. Everybody else was just there, just ignoring my questions and everything. So. What's, uh, what's the latest on Ashton right now? He is a, a medically induced, a medical induced coma right okay. now. And they had to remove the left part of his skull to reduce the swelling on his brain. And he has eternal bleeding right now, but he's stable for right now. Okay. Any prognosis, or it's too early to tell? It's too early to tell right now. Okay. Um, they said the, the bullet came out of his jaw and shattered his jaw and dislocated it. So, oh, man. They, have, they can't put it back together until the swelling from the... Um, and the bullet going in to go away. Okay, let's let's go on a more positive note. Talk talk to me about the about your three sons. <laughs> tell tell me about them. Mirror, he just he just loves everything. Mirror, he's just sports, trophies, he loves fixing stuff, everything, anything to do. He was always with his grandma and his uncle. His uncle did roofing and construction and cars. So he had all the tools over there to fix and play with and helmets and everything. And Ashton, he just loved music and balls and sports. And loved being a boy. <laughs> 
And Gabriel, he's just, he's just one. Well, just learning how to walk. I was just holding him as a baby. He's just. Now, I'm only going to ask you about this because you posted it on Facebook. You had said that you had wanted the kids in your in your custody yes. without going into too many details. Tell me what the kids meant to you and, and, and in the lightest details what the situation was with, with, the, with the mother. I don't want to play a blame game or anything like that, but what are your feelings that the, the suspect is in custody, the person that they believe is responsible for this? Um, does that give you any type of closure that no. that person is it behind doesn't give bars me right now? No closure that he's behind bars because he get he, he can get life, but he's still living. He's still doing everything he can do. He'd be behind bars. He's not out here, but my kids will never be able to grow up. Never see my kids again. I've never hold my kids. Never nothing. So he's just and all they're gonna do is be like, hey. Get life, which means nothing to people like him. Like, okay, well, I still get three square meals a day. So. Okay. How, and this is a difficult question, you don't have to answer if you don't want. Other families have gone through similar things. Within the past year, we had 62 homicides in Toledo. A lot of those kids, a lot of those teenagers. How do we, how do we stop this from happening? Much of, much of this is, for the teenagers, we just gotta keep the guns away from the teenagers somehow. Limit their access to the parents' guns, the grandparents' guns, go to their friends' house. Everybody gotta like put their guns up. You can't buy a safe for a gun, don't buy a gun. Like putting it on top of the refrigerator out of the kids' reach is not doing it anymore. These kids are smart, they can climb on stuff, they can get up there. Mm -hmm. um, and I was for like the little kids, like, these kids, they don't ask to be brought into this world. Mm -hmm. They, we bring them into this world, and as a mother and father, we needed to protect them and show them the way that like, we're supposed to be doing. We just can't be just putting them to the wayside and just doing whatever because we don't feel like being parents anymore. This is crazy to me. I don't understand it because my kids are my world. Like, I got, I had eight kids. I have five that's living, and my kids are my world. Well, six, and my kids are my world. Like, I give up anything for my kids. And I've, I've told Crystal before, if she couldn't take care of them or raise them or protect them, she'd just give them to me. I'll take my kids. The last thing I'll ask you is how do you want your children to be remembered by this community that I'm sure over the next couple of days, and you probably already have seen messages online of love and support and prayers, how do you want your three kids to be remembered? Just vibrant, loving little boys, always had smiles on their faces, always ready to play with anybody's kids, they didn't care who it was, it was just loving little boys. So. That's how I want them to remember Amir and Gabriel, because Ash is still fighting, so. Okay. And our thoughts are with them. Thank okay. you. Thank you so much for speaking with us. I appreciate it.